of all of my shit. Ah! So what's up guys, it's Stu. This is just a quick update on the LEDs uh, for the center dash for these here and the uh, the other ones. And I bought some white ones, but they didn't really work out that well. It just shined like a pink. So I also got some red ones. So they're the ones to use. What you need is called flat top LEDs. I don't know whether you can see that. So, but they have a, yeah, just flat top LEDs or straw hat LEDs. And the resistors that you need, the ones that I've got are 62, uh, 620. Uh, if you're using the white ones, you need 430s is the closest I've got. I think it's 480 and they should be 680, but 620s will do. So they're exactly the same process as doing the others. Just need your soldering iron. And what I've done with the, uh, these are the ones for the actual heater controls. So they're a lot smaller than these ones in here. I'll pop these out. Yeah, so them ones you just pop the, have the LED poking out the end. And that's all gravy there. And then you just, your resistors just pop out the end there. It's nothing major. So, what I do with the um, the ones for the actual heater controls are, I do this. So I poke it out and I point them up so it shines directly into the actual diffuser. So it's just exactly the same process. So you poke it through and they've got some little nodules on. I poked it through to the, where the nodules were. Get your neg, which is your smallest leg. Anode and cathode, I can't I don't know which one's which. And wrap that round one side of it. And then chop off your excess. And that's your neg on. And I just squash it down so it makes it easier to put on. You pause, it's the longest leg. Chop it off with about five mil hanging out. Get yourself a 620 resistor, or if you've got 680s, put 680s in. Chop that off a bit, and what I do, these are a bit of a dick to do, because the uh, the hole in there is actually smaller than the hole in the other one. So you might struggle getting two in. So, all I do, fire up your soldering iron, wrap it round. So what I'm going to do anyway, I'm just going to tin the ends of the resistor and the LED. The three mil as well, the LEDs. And I'll find some resistors and put a link to that. And then, just hold your LED and your resistor. Dump a load of solder on the end of your iron to make it clean there. And just lift it up, the jobs are fecking good. And Bend your resistor back on itself. Like I said, it doesn't matter that it pokes out a bit because chop whatever excess you've got there. Squash them in like so. I've got some little gluey heat shrink. So this is just to stop it from touching anything, which it shouldn't do anyway because it's never going to move. And there you are. So, I'll take this and this and this and go into the car. I'll show you what I do with rest. We're in the car, if I turn, you should be able to see this. So you can see that the LEDs now are a bit brighter. They're not super bright, but they are quite bright. So that's them and the heater ones which are here. Such a dick. So you see that there? And 
This one here, we've got to figure out which way we can bend it. And there you are. So it's, just, it's a bit of a dick to put them in, but once they're in, you never have to ever replace them. And the, like I said, the red is a lot brighter than the whites. The whites were really shit, to be honest. So at night time, it'll be as bright as the bulbs. You never have to replace them. I'll probably do some for the actual clocks, because they're still a bit dim, but I'll probably get brighter ones. And that's it. So last thing that you got to do is build your actual uh, dash up. I've got my Enkai wheels on off the Evo, they've been refurbed in dark anthracite. There they are with the Brembos behind them, oh tasty. I'll see you in a bit.